And down here at the end of our key hall, the mason is installing what looks like a limestone wall. Well, it's not actually a mason. He's a carpenter. Really? And so that makes this stuff what? Um, it's actually a polymer stone molding. Polymer stone molding. So this is just a little half inch board. Looks like a foam backing. How do you make this stuff? Well, we actually start with a, a real piece of limestone, and a mold is made. Um, the foam product is poured into the molds, and presto. Is and that's what gives it this very genuine look. I can see the fossilized shell marks here, some of the pock marks that would be in limestone. Now, why does someone use something like this? Well, basically in Bermuda, what's so great is the fact that it really does save in, on labor. Um, a wall like this, we could probably install in about an hour. Versus, say, three or four hours, maybe, or more for a regular limestone Absolutely. wall. Absolutely. All right. Now, what about um, if it gets damaged? What if one of the kids comes up here and knocks us with his cricket bat? What do we do then? Well, actually, we'd use some of this grout product that you see Kevin actually using right now. Um, it's color matched uh, with a latex paint mixed with the sand, and we would simply fill anything, um, any damage that you'd see. So if we get a ding or a dent, a putty knife and some of that grout, and we're, we're all and set. It disappears. Well, you know, the only way you can tell it's not real limestone is by touching it. It is uh, a little warmer. It's not as cool to the touch right. as limestone would be. Good. Well, it's good to know about this. Thank Super. you. Super. Great. Thank you.